You can't even see me yet. Good morning, farm fam. It's morning, morning today, guys. It is, what does that say? 5.15 right now. So typically, as I've said in previous videos, David gets up around 3.45 and I get up a little later, around 4. And I'll make his lunch and get him off to work. And then I will take care of the cat and the bunnies and lay back down until around 7 or 8. And then I'll get up and deal with the ducks. Well, today, I can't seem to go back to sleep. So, we're up, you guys. We're going to go ahead and deal with these ducks. And the cat wants to go out. <laughs> so, let's do it. So, the sun's... Oop, that's not the sun. The sun's still deciding if it wants to come out yet or not. Not quite. Let's see. You can see... Still a little early for it, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna... I got the food in my hand. Gonna do it a little different today. Normally, I fill up the cup and then go over there. But since I am probably gonna have to feed them separately, I decided to bring the bag of food, too. And I'm gonna get the water situated. Ducky, 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 duckies! Good morning! Hi, ducks! No one can see you. It's dark out. Well, it's kind of light out. It's light over there. Let me put this flash on so I can show you what we did with this pool. So, our temporary solution is we put a piece of plastic over the pool. Because initially we tried to patch up the holes with silicone, but obviously that didn't work because... It, after a few weeks, it started leaking again. So, good morning, ducks. Good morning. So, that's our temporary solution. We didn't know whether to put them in the same coop last night as the other girls. So, we put them in this coop. And since it's not finished yet, we kind of just had to rig up something to put them in there. So, we just put some cinder blocks in front of the door. And hopefully, we'll see if they could go together tonight. But... If not, we'll be doing this again until we can get the coop finished. I don't know if it's because the new girls were scared, but they didn't eat any of the food last night. And when I tried to give them some food separately this morning, they wouldn't eat it. So I ended up letting my girls out, and now they're not letting them eat. So... This should be interesting. Let them have some too, guys. They have to eat too. Alright. I'm sorry about cutting the video short earlier. I'm just kind of a little frustrated. Because I realize that the new ducks and the old ducks are just going to kind of have to figure it all out on their own. And I know that there's a hierarchy to things and there's going to be a boss. And I get that. I really get that. But the new girls have to eat. They can't just starve, you know. So I'm just I'm frustrated because I don't know what to do. So I'm going to give it a few days. And just hope that they kind of figure it out on their own. And if they don't, then we're going to have to revisit it and come up with a better solution. So, But it's a few hours later now. Um, I went and I, oops, went and I lay back down. And now it's time for me to water the plants. Not sure if you're really interested in seeing this, but... It's part of my life, so plants will show you when they're thirsty. So I really don't water them often until I see signs that they're really thirsty. So as you can see, this one is starting to kind of droop. And all my other ones... Oops. Oops. 
All my other ones are doing okay. It's probably been a good amount of time since I watered them that they all need to be watered. So I'm just gonna take that as my sign and go ahead and water all of them, even though they're not all necessarily showing signs. Look at this guy. Gotta figure something out about him. He needs to be trimmed back or something. I never really know what to do with the air plants. <laughs> so they don't get watered often, so I can just dip it in the water. Don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but it is what it is. All right, that's all over here. Gonna water this aloe. She looks like she could use it, but she does pretty well. I don't, I kind of tend to forget about her a little bit because she's not with the other plants. But Aloe kind of wants to do their own thing anyway, so. And lastly, I'm just going to take care of this Aloe over here on my little kitchen windowsill. So now all the plants are watered. Here's a little span of everything. And then I just have my little bunny's ashes and his little footprint my bunny that passed away just have it right over here with the cage so he can be with his home and then this is david's sister's ashes they're gonna find a new home but they're good right there for now and here's all the plants and then i'll probably need to uh, take some of these dead leaves off as well I have another little aloe girl right there, and I think that's an agave plant. I'm not too sure. Bamboo. And this, I think, is a little succulent. I'm not positive. It started out just this little piece. These two little pieces, I think. Here's the ear plant. She's not looking too happy. Because, like I said, I don't know how to water her. But she somehow survives i don't know and then we have this one this is one of my favorites look at all the bunny's hair Ugh, gross um this is one of my favorites it's probably had time to drain so i'm gonna help go ahead and put her back i just love the way she hangs and all of this is relatively new growth i absolutely love it it started out up here so all of this is pretty new within the last month or two then we have this one. This one was actually left in the house for us when we moved in. So, hey, I guess they knew that I liked plants. <laughs> I am putting some things together for dinner. I'm going to be chopping up some stuff for salad and for some sautéed vegetables. And then we'll show you guys the finished product.
like usual, we give the bunnies their fair share of fresh vegetables whenever we get fresh vegetables. And she's over there doing that. I'm making us a couple pork burgers. I forget exactly what they were. Brock burgers, I think it was, with cheddar. She wanted hers extra cheesy, just like me. Another dinner. Done well. Here's hers. She did ranch, I did vinaigrette.